It has been said that while the grandeur of empires can be seen in their monuments, their strength really lies in their furious warriors. Who said that? Why, me, of course. In the past several beginner guides, I've taught you how to create your buildings as efficiently as possible and how to choose which units to train. In this video, I'll teach you several techniques you can use to create your army with as little wasted time as possible. The first step is to know your hotkeys. Now, I've already spent an entire video on this topic, so I won't waste your time rewalking this ground. However, one thing I did not really touch on is the use of the shift key, because I wanted to save that for this video. Basically, when you're creating units, if you press and hold shift, you queue up five units instead of one. In the early deathmatch game, it's very important to use this technique because it cuts down on wasted time. The fewer keystrokes you make and the less time you spend, the better. Following this type of reasoning, you need to know the ways to most effectively reduce keystrokes. In this video, I'll teach you three separate techniques you can utilize to allow your production buildings to pump out units fast. The first technique is to use control groups. As you should remember from my hotkey video, a control group allows you to select a group of units with just the press of a button. Remember, you can do the exact same thing with buildings. Double click on a building to select all of that type of building visible on your screen. You can use the control or shift key to add new buildings to your selection or to remove current ones, similar to what you would do with folders and files. Once you have your selection finished to your satisfaction, you can then put those buildings into a control group. To do this fast, I recommend double clicking on each type of building and putting them in separate control groups. This means you can create units far quicker. Without control groups, you'd have to manually move your viewpoint to the buildings, click on the buildings, and then move your viewpoint back to where you want to set your rally point. This takes a lot of time. With control groups, however, you can just select the group, hit the unit creation hotkey a few times, and set the rally point without ever moving your viewpoint. And this means that you won't really be wasting time, and you won't be looking away from your army. However, this technique has two major problems. The first one is that on HD, unless the last building in your selection is finished, you won't be able to immediately create units. You'll be forced to manually deselect a few buildings, which can be time consuming. The second issue is that on Voobly, if you have multi queue turned off, this technique doesn't even work at all. Now, what is multi queue? Well, briefly, with MQ on, when you select several buildings and create several units from them, the units are evenly distributed throughout the buildings. However, in single queue games, which are common on Voobly, the units are all created in one single building, meaning the others in the selection will be idle. To combat this, you can use the second technique, which is to spam the go to and unit creation hotkey combos. Remember, go to hotkeys let you instantly select a certain type of building. If you spam go to hotkeys and unit creation hotkeys, you will cycle through your buildings and create units in them. For example, for my personal hotkey setup, if I spam CS, 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 I will distribute paladin production throughout my stables. Also, make sure to select all your buildings and put them in a control group to let you easily control your unit's gather point. This technique can be difficult to use, however, because it requires more keystrokes than the control group method. It also doesn't give you the control you need because you don't get to choose which buildings are creating your units if you're trying to cycle through them fast. Because of this, I instead recommend you use the third technique the majority of the time, which is what I call the shift trick. Now, remember that when creating units, using shift lets you make five of them. Also, remember that it lets you select a new building. Using this knowledge, we can create a unit creation technique that gives you more speed and control than the go-to building method, and doesn't have the early game awkwardness of the control group method. Follow this procedure. Press and hold shift and select a building with your mouse. While still holding shift down, tap the unit creation hotkey once. This will queue up five of this unit in that building. Now, whilst not letting go of the shift key, select another building which can be added to your building selection. Again, use the unit creation hotkey. To queue up five units in each following building, rinse and repeat, whilst never letting go of the shift key. Once you're done, right click an area to set your rally point, so all of your units will go to the correct spot. This technique works in single queue because when you add another building to your current selection, it gets added to the end of that selection. It just so happens that the last building is also the one which the new units get added to, meaning you evenly distribute your units among the buildings. 
This technique also works in multi-queue, because MQ always distributes the units so they get created as soon as possible, meaning each new building will always get all five of the new units added. This technique is faster and easier than the go-to building technique, and is faster and less awkward than the control group technique in the early game. As such, it is one of the most important things you can learn as a deathmatch player. Anyway, for the first few minutes of a DM game, as soon as a building is created, make army from it. Once you start to get a few more buildings, you can use the shift trick technique to spend less time on the physical actions required for creating your army, as such allowing you to spend those actions doing something else, like microing units, placing building foundations, etc. You should now have the knowledge needed to excel in the early deathmatch game. As such, right now the best thing you can do is practice. Make sure to review all of the previous videos to make sure you haven't missed anything. At this point, however, you definitely need to see for yourself how to execute an opening deathmatch build. In the next video, I'll show you one highly recommended method of practice that can greatly enhance your skill. So make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on to get notified when I post that video. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.